Hello friends, this video is going to be um, a short one but going to touch into some very common um, uh, a feature we or common problem we come across as the title suggests what is the common between x-axis type data type and a visual scroll bar in this video we're going to look into how we can in certain cases um, avoid having a scroll bar on the visuals and uh, what's why it happens and why in certain cases we don't see scroll bars and in certain cases we do see scroll bar even we resize um, the visual the scroll bar never shows up but in other cases uh, it is always there let's take a look why it happens and then what are the possible solutions or what we can do to avoid that scroll bar Let's get to Power BI and have a quick look at this. All right, here I have a simple Power BI file. Uh, nothing, um, nothing fancy about it. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we have a calendar table um, and then we have a sales, which is just a simple sum of sales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use here as my um, a a bar chart or a line chart does not matter. So here on my x-axis and sales, uh, let's see, where is sales? My here on my values. So this looks great. As you see, if we um, shrink, resize the visual, we never see the scroll bar. And let's try another, um, uh, something else on x-axis let's try month instead of year now as you can see we have the scroll bar at at the um, x-axis now as we if we want to if we don't want the scroll bar either we reduce the number of data points or we change the size of the visual and now scroll bar goes but it does not happen when we are using uh, year column on x-axis um, and, uh, and the reason, so so why does this happen? And uh, first of all, the type of the, there is a there is a a type of x axis what you can you select continuous or categorical. So in case of continuous, um, it fits all the x axis data points uh, within the size of the. Uh, visual so as we go um, resize it, it it does not show the scroll bar but if I change it to categorical and uh, let's uh, go shrink and then see the scroll bar shows up but when we choose month on x-axis um, unfortunately we don't have the option of selecting type to categorical or a continuous it means it is always it will always have a, a scroll bar in case um, uh, the size of the data points are are a lot more data points and cannot fit into the visual size and the first and the foremost reason why does this happen when why the continuous is available or categorical available the type on x-axis is only available in two cases even either we are using a number field on x-axis or we are using a date column on x-axis so in case of year it is a number field and that's why we see it on x-axis in case of month it is a text um, as we can see july 2019 august 2019 it's a text and then we don't have the option to choose between continuous and categorical if, so if we put a date column, let's try the, the date column. Um, and now, as you, you will see, it's, it's been because set as in a, a type as in a categorical. If we change it to continuous, and now all the dates fit into this. And does not matter if we resize the visual, we will never see the scroll bar. So in case of date, and the number field, uh, we have the option to choose between type and categorical. Um, it, it, so 
the, the one thing uh, here to understand that we cannot control what values it shows on x-axis in case of date as you can see it is showing the January 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 I cannot control the format what it shows on x-axis I cannot control um, uh, you know how uh, what data points it shows the own x-axis so if if we shrink we will see it changes to the year if we grow out it is changing to the month if maybe I filter on a maybe one or two year let's say put in a quick filter here in a year um, so maybe 2020 to 2021 so now we see a little bit more uh, uh, months in there so if I go further one year maybe 2021 so now we see the dates in there so end of the day we cannot control when we are using continues what format does it show on x-axis and what at what frequency it shows um, the data points it all depends on how big is our number of data points are and how large our visual is uh, so that is between continues and categorical but here is one example I want to show and uh, how we can improve in certain cases that it should not show the um, uh, a a scroll bar let's say I have this visual now I have a year I create a hierarchy I have a year I have a month and now I have a I have a date um, um, so we can drill the up and down so when I'm in a year because it's a number field it's a continuous and works perfectly fine but when I go to the next level now since it is a a text field as as I uh, resize the um, um, visual or there are more data points there will be scroll bar and when I go further down to the date again because date and numbers can continues um, so it, it does fit so how I can avoid the month not to show uh, as a you know fits into there and does not show the scroll bar what we can do here in this particular scenario so we can add another column in our date calendar table let's call it maybe end of the month and just let's call it calendar date oops with the zero zero means the number of months we want to move back and forth so zero means current so if we add this date and if we quickly look into end of the month column in calendar tables it's giving us the end of the month of each date so now we can format it to date and instead of using the month now we can use end of the month on in our hierarchy and since we added that so now we have the option for the continues let's scroll down so now we can see uh, all the months in there and if we and go to the date uh, it shows the date as well so if we shrink or grow and you know um, make it bigger or smaller uh, we will never have a scroll bar when we are on on using the month even one more and one last thing uh, you if you want to use this new column which we created end of the month and uh, it does look like a date and you really want it to be look like a month and year and don't want to use this as in a date what you can do is let's say we have looked in the sales but this is actually a month column showing as an end of the date month you can change the format of this column uh, whatever you want to see it as like a mmm dot yyy and uh, that would um, like now it will show December 2017-18 it's still a date column um, um, underneath but we just change the format of this to um, um, year month and year so having said that we can use it on our on our visuals to avoid the 
a scroll bar but at the same time we can also use this column as a regular year to month um, uh, month year uh, as text in an other regular table visual or I hope you found this video useful and um, you can use um, you um, this chain continuous versus categorical based on your needs and then uh, in certain cases you can uh, you can create a month as a text instead of using as a text make it as a date and use on x-axis and to avoid those scroll bars and uh, make a more user-friendly reports until next video um, have a good day and uh, I will be back with one or two or maybe more videos in in coming days talk soon have a good day bye now